Wait, retatratide has glucagon in it. Isn't that the hormone that raises blood sugar? If you or someone you love has type 2 diabetes, this sounds surprising because it doesn't match what you'd normally think. But here's the wild part. This triple agonist drug, DLP-1, GIP, and yes, glucagon actually lowers blood sugar. And the reason why might change how we think about diabetes meds forever. I hear this question almost every day in the pharmacy. Why would a diabetes drug include glucagon? It makes sense to ask after all, glucagon's job is to raise blood sugar when it drops too low. So how can retatratide help people with insulin resistance or type 2 diabetes? Here's a clear and compelling breakdown. GLP-1 boosts insulin after meals, slows digestion, and reduces hunger. That means less sugar hitting your bloodstream at once. GIP, less famous, but powerful fine-tunes insulin response and plays a role in fat metabolism. And then there's glucagon, the confusing one. In its natural form, glucagon shouts at your liver, dumps sugar into the blood now. That's why we use glucagon shots during dangerous lows. But retatratide flips that script. Instead of shouting, it whispers. Think of natural glucagon like lighting a bonfire to stay warm. Retatratide uses a tiny pilot light, just enough to stoke your body's metabolism without flooding your blood with sugar. Quick gut check. Did that surprise you? Drop in the comments if the pilot light analogy helped it click. That's the power of what's called triple agonist synergy. GLP-1 reduces appetite and slows sugar absorption. GIP supercharges your insulin response. And synthetic glucagon quietly turns up your body's fat-burning mode. Together, they do what most single-action drugs can. They attack the entire type 2 diabetes puzzle. Glucose, weight, metabolism, and insulin sensitivity all at once. So if you've been wondering how retatratide can lower blood sugar even with glucagon inside, now you know it's not about dumping sugar. It's about retraining how your body handles energy. If this video cleared things up for you, smash that like button. Drop a comment if you've ever wondered this. Wait, isn't glucagon the bad guy? How does retatratide stack up against Wegovy and Zepbound? The side effects, results, and all the juicy details are just a click away. You'll be surprised to see which one takes the crown.